Ever since I was a teenager, I was obsessed with the idea of games with a fully distractible world. I would go to computer clubs and spend hours cutting down the foundations of buildings in Red Faction Guerrilla or destroying cars in GTA 4 until they are completely flat. And I was especially amused by the bug with the swings that launched you into space. Or how disappointed I was when Rainbow Six Siege was released and it turned out that buildings could only be destroyed in special places. And not demolished almost to the ground as shown in the trailers. And of course where would we be without Minecraft? Placing blocks, breaking them, blowing up with dynamite, setting on fire with lava, flooding with water, moving using pistons and all that stuff. This is a hyperfixation that I will not be able to get rid of for the rest of my life. If Teardown had been released 15 years ago, I would have played it day and night. And to my delight, a Twitter user named Lily decided to port the most important mechanics from Minecraft to Counter-Strike 2. And to create a somewhat unique game mode in which several players can fight with each other, destroying everything in the process and using unusual for Counter-Strike mechanics. And while you have time, check out Skins Monkey, use code Gaben and get up to a $5 bonus, select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range and exchange your old and ugly CSGO items to something new and shiny from Counter-Strike 2. You Use code Gaben and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top up bonus. Skins Monkey, links and my code down below. Lily started her Counter-Strike journey around 2017. Until that time she did not have her own computer and spent her free time playing mainly Mario and other Nintendo games on DS, Wii and Wii U. Initially the computer was bought exclusively for playing Minecraft, but in the process she learned about Gary's mod and started playing it with friends. Inspired by a series of videos by 3 Clicks Philip, where he showed the process of creating the DE Sparity map, she decided to try her skills at map making and made several locations for playing in co-op. CSGO was her first competitive shooter and for the first year Lily just played offline with bots on different maps from the workshop. Her most popular map for CSGO is 1v1 spin where you fight an opponent on a rotating map, which to be honest makes you a little dizzy. And her favorite map from the competitive pool is DE Nuke, because movement is heavily dependent on certain skills, such as edge bugs, ladder acceleration, bunny hops and more. Apparently this had a big impact on the gameplay of the Minecraft map as you can just sit around and have to actively react to all events. Lily's first map for CS2 was an aim map with gameplay that references the old game called Duck Hunt. It surpassed all of her previous work in popularity and currently has over 70,000 subscribers. The incredible success of the aim map motivated her to start creating all sorts of ideas for unique maps, and the Minecraft concept turned out to be the simplest of them. Each block on the map is a funk breakable entity and the harder the object, the harder it is to destroy. For example, you can easily dig the ground with a knife, but you will have to shoot a lot at stones or metal bars. The most basic mechanics include, of course, the destructibility of the entire map. TNT blocks that explode and deal damage in a small radius allowing you to fly up in the sky as if using a rocket jump. And in the future it will be possible to pick up and throw dynamite at other players thanks to the developments of Aizu. Pistons when interacted with throw players up to a great height. Almost the same mechanic as dynamite, but safer and does not deal damage. Within the frames of the items spawns a certain weapon. They are scattered all over the map and to find the best one you will have to work a little harder. Updates to the map are released almost every day. And while I was making this video, it was always changing. For the near future she planned coal blocks breaking which can drop incendiary grenades, slime blocks falling on which the player will be pushed to the same height and will not receive any damage, rain of dynamite which will begin to destroy the entire map if the round lasts too long, chests opening which you can get random items, a small chance of spawning villagers being near which you can buy any items but if you kill them the zone disappears, cakes that can be eaten to restore health, character skins with custom minecraft mob heads and the winner's cloak. Lily has not yet been able to implement placement of new blocks, but fortunately my friend Ansimist came to the rescue and made a small prototype
type, so if it can be integrated into the main map, then in the future you'll be able to build something new right during the game. Or on a separate empty map with a regular Minecraft field, you can build new barricades from scratch and shoot back at other players. A little later, several more maps are planned based on other biomes or popular locations from different games, for example, Alone on Dust 2 assembled from blocks. If enough people are interested in this map, Lily is considering publishing all her work for the community. Thus, anyone can create their own map from scratch using ready-to-use blocks and mechanics. In general, right now the gameplay reminds me of a mini danger zone. Basically, you also spawn in a random location and try to get to a certain place to find a weapon. The map is already available in the Steam Workshop and Lily has hosted 4 servers in Europe, North America, Brazil and Australia, so players from almost any continent can try this mode right now. Unfortunately, the performance on the map suffers a little and it may be unplayable on weak PCs. Until Valve adds new scripting tools, optimization will remain at a satisfactory but not ideal level. For example, Lacey, the author of many popular maps for CSGO, is trying to help Lily and does the most basic optimization when some blocks are not rendered until the player destroys something nearby. Leave a comment with diamond emoji if you watched this far and check out the previous video where I talk about possible reduction in the price of auto snipers, new hidden graphics update, weird update related to anti-cheat and much more.